Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. So behind me here is my cargo trailer and I'm doing an upgrade project on it, some brakes. So what I'm doing is installing Dexter never adjust brakes on it. So what I wanted to do here is show you how they work. So never adjust brakes have some additional components in them. There's this little arm right here and then there's this which is attached to a little cable and back here don't know how well that'll show up there it is right there it's a little pivot wheel or a pulley that that cable rides on and then that cable continues on down and it's attached to a little arm and then that arm engages on the adjuster star wheel and this adjuster star wheel is arranged in such a way that it's kind of got little notches or ratchets on it where this arm will catch on the the teeth and cause this to rotate. If we look real close, here's that arm right there and here is the little star wheel and it actually has teeth on it. The arm engages on the star wheel teeth and causes the star wheel to rotate only one direction. There's sort of a little ramp that lead up to each tooth So how this works is that as you apply the brakes and start to wear down the brake lining, the drum and the brake lining develops a bigger space. As that space gets bigger and bigger, the travel is further and further of your brake shoes. As that travel increases and in causing more spread when you apply your brakes, that causes this to engage on the next tooth on this little adjuster wheel and then when the brakes release it causes that adjuster wheel to spin one notch. What we'll do is move this magnet because the magnet attaches itself to the interior surface of the wheel hub or drum. It moves in this direction and you can see that arm is moving up and you hear that click. It just engaged itself on the next tooth Then, as we let the brakes off it adjusts itself and moves the equivalent of one uh, tooth rotation. If we do it again, it just clicked and there we have one more rotation. can't really see it because of the angle of my camera, but what it'll do is move the camera into a better position. Here's the arm right here and there's the star wheel. So we apply the brakes, the magnet sucks itself into the drum and moves like so as the wheels rotating and you can see that arm start to move out just a little bit and it clicked so that means it engaged itself on the next higher tooth when we let off the brakes then it rotates that star wheel and here's another shot of how that works So each time it clicks and rotates, it's moving the bottom of the shoes further apart. And technically what it's doing is moving this shoe further forward. And here's looking at a brake assembly from the bottom. And you can see that little star wheel and how its teeth are arranged where it can only engage with this little arm one way and rotate. So here's another example of showing this in operation. Here it click, that means that the little arm engaged on the next higher tooth and as the brakes release it spins a little star wheel. As I move this magnet with my hand it's an exaggerated motion of the arm and the star wheel. In other words, every time you apply the brakes, the magnet is not going to move enough to cause the star wheel to rotate. Pretty nice setup and this will definitely solve my problem. I forgot to mention earlier in this video the problem I'm solving with installing the new brakes. I'm the second owner of this trailer which I bought from the original owner last summer 
Every time I towed the trailer last summer, I kept having one wheel lock up and smoke the tire. At the end of a trip, I'd adjust the brakes, and then on the next trip, the same brake would lock up, and that process got kind of old, so I knew that it was time to replace the brakes.